Hi, this is Sheree with Rehouse Fiber. I like to bring to you anything that I feel is important to a fiber artist. And today I want to talk to you about the value of Instagram. I had talked about it a little bit at the end of a show a few episodes ago, but it was a purl stitch tutorial and many people know how to do that, so you may not have heard me talk about it. So I really wanted to cover it in today's show how valuable it can be and also I want to talk about my top five favorite businesses and people on Instagram. So every morning I have a cup of coffee and I go through Instagram and for me it is solely for fiber. So anything to do at all with fiber from sheep farms, alpaca, muskox farms, uh, yarn, products, tools, projects in progress, everything fiber. It is highly curated. Every day there's adjustments so that I keep having it exactly how I need it to work for me. It's my most useful tool for bringing me information in the fiber world aside from visiting with my friends. So, in fact, I'm looking at a lineup of fiber projects and most of them I found on Instagram. So I just want to make sure that you know it's out there and that you can make it exactly the way you want it to be. All right, so let's go over my top five favorite Instagram people slash businesses. Let's start with number five, on a quest for fiber. This takes the record of the fastest purchase I've ever done. I saw her braid of fiber that she had dyed and immediately I bought it. It was like four clicks, done. So this is the skein from that. It, it caught my attention because, I don't know, I just thought like English garden, beautiful greens, beautiful pinks and reds and the colors were just great. When I got it, it felt magnificent the entire time I was using it but there was one little extra thing it smelled good I don't know if it was the soap she used or if she spritzed it with something it smelled like fresh cucumbers every time I was working on it so I even knew by scent what project I was working on so that was delightful now when I need fiber she's the first place I go to look all right Number four, Stephen Willett and his spindles. This too, I was scrolling through one morning, saw it. It's one of those things that you say that is so fantastic that I've got to do whatever it takes to get it. And I did. Here it is. It is a beautiful ocean scene on the tip of the spindle. Aaron Slater does the glass work and it is a piece of art. Stephen Willett, this beautiful, beautiful wood and bowl. It is just a phenomenal thing to have. Found that on Instagram, and now that it is my go-to site for products like this. Number three, okay, designer, Isabel Kramer. When I first saw the first thing from Isabel Kramer, I was, in love. I purchased that pattern that day. I'm like, how does this designer know exactly what I would like? Really, really cool. Beautiful, clean lines. You just have to see for yourself. So now when I'm scrolling through, I go, oh, that's got to be an Isabel Kramer. And then sometimes she surprises me because I see something like the Greyer shawl that I'm working on right now. And I go, that is really nice. Oh, of course, Isabel Kramer. So she is now my go-to designer. Fabulous stuff. All right, number two, Leah and Elfie. This is a mother-daughter team in Wales. They are so super creative and all their stuff looks like it's from a magical enchanted forest. What caught me first as I was scrolling through is little Elfie. She may have been seven or eight at the time, spinning on a spinning wheel like a super pro. 
<laughs> I was like, that is amazing. They do all kinds of art yarn, all kinds of jewelry, all kinds of things, special crochet needles, and it's just always fun when I come upon them because I think, what are they doing now? Sometimes it's gardening, and I know that's not part of the fiber world, but they are. So check out their gardening and whatever else they're doing because it's all really cool. And it's just happy to have a glimpse into their life and what they're working on that week is just really fun. Takes me to that other part of the world. Okay, huge drum roll for my favorite, number one business on Instagram, the Muskox Farm in Palmer, Alaska. I don't even know how it got into my brain that I wanted to brush a muskox. I don't even remember how it started. If I was talking with my friends or what, but I thought, oh, I've got to brush a muskox. So on Instagram, checked it out. There they are, Palmer, Alaska, about an hour drive from Anchorage. It's very doable. I am planning on going there to do that one of these months you've got to check it out because first of all the musk ox are the neatest looking animals but they do a great job of sharing pictures and videos frequently and teaching about the musk ox either about the individual personalities of each one what they're doing or like in the spring uh, they went through on the whole process of the brushing and onto the fiber and i was just enthralled so I'm in love with those muskox. They are so cool. The little ones are so cute. And it has just become something that I've got to do. But every time I see them come through on that Instagram feed, I'm very, very happy. It's just really cool to see into the life of the muskox farm in Palmer, Alaska. So I encourage you, if this is something you enjoy doing, going on Instagram. I make it just a special time of my day, that first bit of time in the morning with coffee, and I do what I need to do. Then I go on with my day, but usually I have a list of information of things I either wanna look up, wanna research, pattern I need to buy, something like that. It's just a really valuable resource to us fiber artists. Okay, so enough of Instagram. Let's talk Patreon. If you are enjoying this programming, please go to my website. You can check out the supporting members area. And for as little as a dollar, $3 a month, you help with the programming. Also, there's merchandise for sale that's really fun. That helps also. All right, everybody. Happy Instagramming and thanks for watching.